Hello everyone, Greedy Venus here and today we are going to design this amazing morph transition based business presentation slides and I hope you will like it. In case you need ready-made presentation templates then Envato Elements is the right choice. Browse through this amazing library of presentation templates for Google Slides, PowerPoint and Keynote presentations. The slides are easy to edit and customize. Download the presentation, edit the slides, fill your text, change the images and your presentation is ready. On Envato Elements, you can find amazing video templates, graphics, photos, 3D work, fonts, website templates and much more. Subscribe to Envato Elements now and get unlimited downloads. Link is in the description. So let's begin with the tutorial and we have this blank canvas. So now we have placed this color palette at the top. You just need to fill a uh, right color in the background. So let's use this eyedropper tool to fill this background. Very easy. Now what we have to do is we have to design the components of this slide. So as you've seen in the beginning of the video, we have created three circles, two circles and one a circle with the hole. So let's start with this first circle and we will apply this gradient fill and for our ease we have placed this color palette so we will pick the colors from there and here you can see we have used three gradient stops for now and let's try to move this second stop to the left and you will get this effect it looks like a planet in the universe now create a copy of it and place the second one on the right side and here we are just you know playing with the color tone here to make it slightly darker now let's insert a circle with the hole and draw it like this make sure you always draw it uh, while pressing shift so that the height and width remains the same and fill this background color and then you can place it like this of course you have to do some adjustments here So here I'm just trying to see where it looks good and if everything is well balanced on the slide. So I think this looks fine. Let's add some text and you know the drill how to add text. Simply insert the text box and then let's write a big heading here and Monster Hat is the is a go-to font like it's one of the most beautiful font so I've used all caps it shows the strength of the text I mean of the of the keyword or the word that you want to highlight and also make this uppercase but slightly reduce the size of this second line font and let's write subheading and description here slightly towards the right And you can make it justified as well if you want so you can see this slide design is very easy and it's very useful especially if you want to showcase some com concepts in a transition mode uh, up in a more dynamic way this will certainly impress the audience and 
it's always easy to share or showcase message dynamically because it you know it connects well with the audience so on the right side you can add important text for example some stats or some number that you want to highlight you can always place it on this right globe that we have created so this is how the description will look i'm just trying to see how things are looking at the moment if everything is well balanced throughout the slide so let's duplicate this business text box because the settings are in place the formatting is already done it will save our time we just need to add the text so let's add branding here and rotate it to the left while holding shift on your keyboard reduce the size and let's place it on the left side vertical text always look good and always you know uh, make your slides look beautiful so here we have placed it on the left side and let's place one on the right side on the right you can write all rights reserved or copyright information or any important information in terms of contact information you can add there for now i'm i'm writing here like subscribe to our channel join the membership you can like this video so that it reaches to more number of users so this is how you can do it this slide is very easy to design i'll i'll i i would like you to follow the tutorial step by step and create your own version in a different style place the these planets or globe or these spheres in uh, i mean differently and try to create your own versions that would be nice So here I thought like we are showing 55% why not add a bar chart or a bar, single bar to showcase this 55% because when we will transition to the next slide where, will be, where we will show a different number for example 87% then this bar will increase and with the help of morph transition this effect will look very beautiful and I'm, I'm very sure you will really like it. So. Here we have given this gradient fill. So here we have to place the subheading as well and for that let's move this description downwards and create a copy of it and here we can add the subheading. And subheading should be very interesting. It should, you know, uh, it should make users think like it is a very important text, or it should show the impact, or a very thought-provoking, you know, set of keywords should come here. So currently, everything is. A dummy text here you can just fill the information and you are you can easily edit and change the placement of the text as well and always try to think like what more you can do on this slide what else you can do how you can make it more creative so that will make your slides very beautiful and attractive so let's write the text here to represent this 55% stat that we have showcased like what is this 55% so it's growth for example 
so once everything is in place then you can you know again adjust the placement of the components so you can take a high level overview of this slide and see if everything is in place and and it is doing its job of showcasing the messaging in a very interactive manner so now let's duplicate this slide just click on the slide and press ctrl d to duplicate what you have to do is you just need to change the placement of these three circles two globes or planets and one this circle with a hole so just randomly change the placement and when you will apply the morph transition the magic will happen it will take care of it So now the template is set you just need to change the text and change the number and the position of this bar that we have created so on this slide let's write 45 percent so this should be slightly lower and this could be a different kpi like stability or profit or budget whatever it is and similarly you can design the third slide and so on you can you know create like 15 20 slides out of it you just need to keep on changing the positions of these circles globes and of course you can bring in more circles of different styles and colors and you can be more creative and you can also think of adding graphics and images in the same style so this can become a very you know very dynamic presentation so just randomly place uh, these circles on the slides and meanwhile if you are new to our channel and if you haven't subscribed so please subscribe to our channel and make sure you watch this video till the end you will learn from it then you can always download uh, this slide from the G Drive link and the link is in the description and to support us you can join the membership you can also subscribe And now let's create the first slide and for that you need to make it completely blank and move all the components outside of, of the slide area so what will happen is so what will happen is now it will start from the blank slide and all the components will come on the main slide area so i hope you like this video and let's see the final output so look at this design this looks really beautiful so just share this video subscribe practice learn and download from the g drive link provided in the video description and we will see you guys in our next video till then bye bye take care enjoy and keep watching our videos